Um, hello everyone, my name is Silva and I, am, I come from the Tirana Nextcloud community. Today I'll talk about Nextcloud for personal use um, because I strongly believe that Nextcloud is the best solution not only for companies, enterprises or institutions but also is the be best available so solution for individuals or families. Um, the, an overview of the situation today is that all of us, when we buy a new sm smartphone or a new computer, we get a set of apps which makes it very easy for us to have access in a large amount of storage. Uh, with a simple sign up, we have uh, an account with Google Drive or with Dropbox and we can easily start uploading files over there, sharing them with friends, etc. etc. Um, so wh why are we getting all of this storage for free? It actually is not for free because we are trading something here and it's our privacy. Uh, internet giants such as Google or, or Facebook are based on a business model which um, makes them, which made them two of the most powerful companies today of the world and this is thanks to the data that we are feeding them every day by storing uh, our personal data in their servers. So most of us here who are here today understand the issues that stand behind but a basic user usually would find a solution between using the those services and would simply s sign up for that. So what can we do in order to uh, make an improvement related to this problem? As activists, of course, we can make them aware of the privacy issues which stand behind, but of course, when we are making them aware of the problem, we also need to share a solution with them which would replace those other services. So next up for personal use is, uh, I think, is the best solution available today. Of course, for techies, it can be self-hosted. It's, it's, it's relatively easy for them, but for people who do not have a technical background, they need to find another solution. Uh, when you have the opportunity to be part of a local community where you can ask for help, of course, you can go there. And another great... Um, solution would be to go for a Nextcloud provider. Uh, yesterday the Nextcloud team announced that now it's relatively easy to do that with a simple <coughs> sign up and you can get two gigabytes of storage for free, which is like, um, it helps you to get used to the software with the interface and everything and see if it's like appropriate for you to use. Um, one of the things that we can do as activists or of people who are aware of issues related to privacy is simply to start uh, making other people aware of this simply by telling our friends or helping them set up a Nextcloud instance uh, can help a lot. Uh, lately I've been involved with a group of people who have different ba backgrounds uh, related to different open source uh, software solutions and uh, what they do is that they provide trainings and consultancy related to these projects and when it comes to cloud storage, Nextcloud is of course the solution that we recommend over there and what we lately did is to set up a server space for people that they can simply sign up, get it for free, give it a try and if they like it, they can uh, go for, for other options. Uh, and I strongly believe in the power of communities and I think that if every one of us here keeps doing this, keeps sharing the knowledge they have, uh, we can really make a little difference. Thank you.